Book Club, hey everyone. Dan here from One Man Book Club. Let's talk about Thursday next, shall we? This is book one, The Air Affair. Book two is Lost in a Good Book. Book three is The Well of Lost Plots. Book four is Something Rotten. Uh, there's actually a few more books in the series, but that as far as I went, I'll explain it in just a minute. Now I've been hearing about Thursday next for years, really. I can't even bring up a Jasper Ford uh, book without someone asking me about it. My conversations typically go something like this. Me, hey, I just read The Constant Rabbit. It was so cool. Have you, yeah, but have you read Thursday Next? Or me, I can't wait for Red Side Story. I've loved Shades of Grey. I've been waiting for it for so long. Someone else, yeah, but have you read Thursday Next? Me, The Dragon Slayer was so much fun. Someone else, yeah, but have you read Thursday Next? Okay, okay, so fine, I got it. I need to read Thursday Next. So I did, I hope you're happy, because I am. Thursday Next is just the quirky Brit lit solution to scratch the nerdy itches on my book loving heart. The story is about British literary detective Thursday Next, and it's set in alternative timeline 1980s England. Time travel is a thing, genetic cloning is a thing. Combine the two and you get Thursday's pet dodo bird. Book characters in this story can occasionally leave their book worlds and visit Thursday's world, and sometimes real worlders can occasionally enter a book world. When something goes wrong in the world of literature, say maybe someone sneaks into a Dickens novel to kidnap, to kidnap a character for ransom or to change the ending to reflect their personal interests, Thursday Next and her partners in Spec Ops Literary Division step right into the wrong, step in to right the wrongs and maintain order. The story is clever, it's fun, it's packed full of literary Easter eggs. English majors everywhere will geek out over all of these Easter eggs. As I've come to expect from Jasper Ford, Jasper Ford, the Thursday Next books are superbly written. They're uh, a, the perfect tongue-in-cheek hug to book lovers everywhere, especially ones who are, are fans of classic British literature the most. Haters are gonna hate, so I'll leave this note so you don't enter unawares. Jasper Ford isn't for everyone. His books are quirky, they're silly, they're even a little odd. The Thursday Next stories are written by a Brit for Brits. So don't jump into book one expecting normal because you're gonna end up adding to the collection of unjustified um, one-star reviews that drive the air affairs rating down. Now, even though book two's rating jumps all the way to four stars because other like-minded fans of quirky Brit look like me keep reading because we have embraced the silly. Now, there are currently seven books in this series with book eight set to be published in 2024. I chose to stop reading at book four as that's a natural break in the continuing of the story. Book five jumps forward in time by 14 years and begins a new chapter of Thursday's adventures. I'll probably come back to it at some point, maybe after book eight is published, but I'm satisfied with my experience for now. Uh, discerning readers may want to know that there are some instances of grown-up language, uh, four-letter swear words, the SH and F varieties. Um, it's limited to specific characters, and it's kind of that way that, I don't know, British literature sometimes throws around those words casually. But like I said, specific characters. There's no sex or violence to be concerned with. Also, um, don't try and love these books if you need your books straightforward and simple, because you'll be disappointed if you're a book-loving nerd like me who enjoys books about books and not taking things seriously. I predict you're probably going to enjoy reading Thursday next too. Uh, happy reading, everyone.